Welcome back to Talks Chrome. I'm your host, Sean O'Donnell. With me tonight, Dallas McLaughlin. Oh, hi. And our very special guest from the San Diego Padres, Matt Straw. Matt, thanks for being here. Of course, of course. Happy to be here. Hey, uh, Matt is a professional baseball player, Dallas. He's also a card collector. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, he's a card YouTuber. He's one of us. I mean, we're basically the same, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, In that, like, we open cards in my office. That's kind of cool. But when Matt opens cards in his office on Strom Stadium Pulse, he does it in whatever ballpark he's pitching in that day. This is a clip. I think this is last week. Kind of my office then, right? Pulling a 101 out of a cheap fun breaks mystery box. Beautiful moment here. It is a Reggie Jackson on card patch. Ooh. Petco in the background. That's amazing. Dallas, you can see why this is one of my favorite shows. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to Strom Stadium Polls, you got to do it after we're finished with this video. Wait. Yeah, after. Wait. wait Please don't stop watching. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. Like when you do this, are you like, oh, cool. I have like supplies to get this home safely. Or were you like, ah, um, actually that I did not have, I didn't have a sleeve. I didn't have a top loader. I just put it right back in the case. It came in and brought it, brought it back to the house. That that was right before we went to Arizona. So took it with Arizona, took it to the house, got it all protected. We're good to go. But yeah, sometimes in a stadium, you just, you don't have a place to set it. You don't like, it's it's nerve-wracking sometimes. Uh, what was the one where you pulled like a um, – you pulled the Alonzo Superfractor Auto, right? And I remember watching yeah, that, that going in, like, God, do you, do you just like put it in your locker and go play and not worry about it? I mean – Exactly that. Like, uh, So I hit that one in San Fran and actually usually when I'm opening a hobby box, like if there's only one hit or two hits, I'll try to save them for the end. And I was like, oh, I'll set it aside. But we're I was – right out there by the bay and it was like windy and i was like i can't set these down <laughs> yeah. so i was like oh we just got to do it right now and it was yeah. like the second pack and it was a super fractor and then i was like a little little intermission to get it taken care of and get Amazing. back to opening the pack. Be cool if you you put it in your locker and then uh you go back in and craig stammon's like poking around in your locker looking for <laughs> yeah, like, or i would have said like you know uh, an even better title been like my one of one super factor was blown into mccovey cove you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah that would be miserable I'm, the I'm first really episode first episode i ever did in colorado actually just card blew out of my hand and i was like oh sweet <laughs> this is gonna go well we were talking about it earlier you watch these card videos you're like these are easy to do and then you actually do it and you're like ah oh, the card yeah. blew away um fumbling well, them fumbling the packs we're excited. We're going to go back in time and try to open up some 2017 and find some match drum rookie cards tonight and talk some baseball with you. But before we do any of that, Dallas, it is time yes. to bring back America's favorite, favorite game? Favorite uh, game. Yeah. Project 70 or Nodjek 70. Now, this is the game where I'm going to show Matt and Dallas six Project 70 cards, and they're going to tell me which one I made up. Matt, are you ready? Dallas, are you ready? Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'm terrible at this, but let's do it. I told Matt, no one has actually ever won this game, so I'm, today could be the day. So here we go. Card number one, Babe Ruth. Mm. Card number two, Bryce Harper. Card number three, Chris Bryant. Ooh, that's Card good number four, Carl Yastrzemski. Card number five, Hank Aaron. And card number six, Tony Gwynn. Mm. I'm going to let Dallas go first to take the heat mm. off Matt. Dallas, which one did I make up? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to say, oh, man, just thinking about your skills, what you're capable of doing. I'm going to say the Yastrzemski card is made up. Okay. Dallas says Yastrzemski, oh. Matt Strom, which card is not real? Which one did I make up? I'm going to go with, I mean, it looks like the obvious answer would be Bryce Harper. That's just too obvious. I'm going to go Chris <laughs> Bryant. Oh, Babe Ruth with the 1983 top design. <laughs> Matt and Dallas, thank you for playing. I still have not lost that game. Yeah, that that's awesome. uh, that was awesome. <laughs> you're, what's um, funny, though, Matt, is that your intuition about how crappy that Bryce Harper card looked was correct. It did. <laughs> that's a key. That's a Keith Shore. I mean, he's done a ton of like Project the 2020 stuff. You know, he had his own Bowman set with it's that very specific. But like I said, if you don't follow those cards, 
Anyway, <sighs> that was fun. It, looks, it was fun. Did we have fun? It, it looks like you're at the dentist's office with those cards, like like a highlights magazine. I'm not a big fan. We're gonna go back I, in I time. Mean, I'm a traditionalist as well, so I'm not I'm not big into the the Project Seventy or even the what was it last year? Project Twenty. Project Twenty. My my commentary with this game is that it, I'm not saying that they're all bad, but pretty much anyone can do it, and I have now done it. I guess seven times. That's now. what I feel. I'm not. I don't even. Th- I'm not saying like they're bad. It's just that it's like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like like well, I said. I think they could cut it down to like five percent of how many they're doing. There's some that are insane and so cool, yes. and some that it's like I don't know why. But like speaking of Bryant, like traditional, that Chris card is cool. That was cool. I didn't do that yeah. one. Let's let's go back yeah. to something traditional. Let's open up this series one, mm. 2017. So if there I have this right in my research, this is your rookie card. This was your first tops card. My first tops card, yep. So I can't imagine, oh. although maybe I'm wrong, did you collect, like, did you start when you were uh, in baseball, or have you been doing this since you were a no, kid? No, so so I collected when I was a kid all the way up until probably, like, my freshman or sophomore year of high school. Okay. kind of got out of it, and then I didn't get back into it until my brother moved in with me in 2019. The year okay. after he was drafted by the Giants, he moved in and was working out with me, and he got me back into cards, and I've been on it ever since. That's so. awesome. Um, let's check out this pack. We got some of these guys. I mean, it's only been a couple of years, but Ivani Gallardo with the Orioles. We got Ellsbury. Uh, Ellsbury. Joey Bats. Dallas, what's the over and under on how many match drum cards we could pull tonight, you think? I'm going to say zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> it's, not a ton, it's not a ton uh, of packs, so it could be right. I mean, we'll at least it, have them yeah. on the show. Our luck, our luck is, uh, is not with us. Ever Sean Casey? Were they doing analyst cards there? That's amazing. Uh, Only for Sean Casey. He's the mayor. <laughs> He's actually, the mayor. Uh, there we go. That's um, a great one. I wish that was the original, but this is probably like the throwback. Yep. They've always yeah. been doing these cards. There's a Yuli Gurriel rookie card. The Marlins team card. Might win a silver soldier this year. What's that? Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel. Um, I do actually want to bring up the silver slugger at some point with you. Uh, Maybe you know where I'm going to go with this. Uh, Let's do it right now. Dallas, do you know who won the silver slugger for pitchers in 2019? For pitchers in 2019? Yeah. I'm going to have to say Bartolo Colon. This guy right here. But I I want to bring up a stat because I was doing my strong research. I want to know yeah. what happened, Matt Strom, and why did we not win the Silver Slugger in 2019? Uh, I didn't finish the year as a starter, probably. Is that what it is? Because I was going to say, I mean, okay, right? Like he had because how many? 56. Look at, look at the plate appearances, yeah. But I'm sorry, yeah, dude. Place, as a pitcher, 27 plate appearances, and you hit 26. We don't need to see anymore. Right. Hey, that was above 300 until I had a bunt as a reliever at some point. And that's not your fault. That's I mean, not that your fault. Be blamed on somebody I else. failed, so it was my fault. I failed the bunt attempt. <laughs> if I get the bunt attempt down, it's a sacrifice. I didn't get it down, so it struck out. But. The point of this is I'm, we're starting a petition on Tox Chrome to have Strom DH. Make yep. Strom DH. Make, put it on a shirt. <laughs> sell it in the outfield. Let's just for, and, and also, let's just let you know, you have way better hair than Grinky. I mean... <laughs> He couldn't even go full shoulder. He couldn't go full shoulder. 286. I just don't know if American wow. knows that. I wanted them to know. So another rookie card, if you know of it, not Matt Strom yet. Let's see. We got Strope. Giovanni Soto. Where, where are these guys? Chris Carter. Yeah, a lot of these guys, I feel like they're already not playing anymore. It feels like it was 10 years ago. Yeah. Ellsbury. Like, where's Ellsbury? Matt Carpenter. That's kind well, of that's cool. This, the, the Series 1 and checklist yeah. is... Yeah, all the older guys. Perfect. Big Fish, more Marlins, team cards. <laughs> Ryan Healy rookie card and that was Henry 20, Owens. 25 Marlins uniforms ago. So I know <laughs> I've heard you say, I think that you said this, that you don't, that you do PC guys, but you don't tell anyone who it is because you're still pitching against some of these guys. Is that true? Yeah. So my, my whole thought behind it is I, I like collecting a lot of the, the Bowman stuff as well, as well as tops, tops Chrome. But, uh, when a guy is collecting someone, if I'm getting rid of someone, doesn't that kind of mean I don't believe he's going to be good? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I if, see, I'm, yeah. if I'm public about that yeah. and then all of a sudden get traded to a team that uh, a player that I'm not collecting or publicly not collecting. Now I'm like, that, I saw you throw my card out on that show. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Like right. now I'm, now I'm that teammate that doesn't believe in my other teammates. So I, I try it. to keep it, I keep it private. I do collect all, like I try to get my rookie cards of all my teammates and have them like personally sign them. That's so cool. Um, try to do that. And then I also have a, weird collection that i'm trying to grow is uh 
I'm trying to collect on card autos of guys who have taken me deep. I know that sounds weird, but no, that's just, cool. That's I, rad. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. See, Unfortunately, we haven't... Trevor stories in there too many times. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to get one for every time he does? You're like, Trevor, come I haven't here, decided I got the card. that yet. So I okay. haven't, I haven't decided that yet. Um, I kind of want it to be like a, I don't know. I want it to be a Topps Chrome Auto if they have it. Yeah, but yeah. We'll yeah. see. You could just have we'll him see. sign the card for every time he home, homer. So just like one point, no, Trevor should be like, like, like not link, that. you know, like I ask for no one's autograph after the take. Do you like a punch that's card? Why, that's why I'm oh, you just want to. I'm sorry, you just want to collect the auto of the guy. Okay, I got it. Yeah, the top's it. authentic ones. I don't want to get. It's not like a moment of shame. Like, all right, here, uh, like, like yeah. Trevor's like, come on, Matt, come here. I know what we got to do. You, you know. Yeah, I got to sign your card now. Yeah, you should. Not that. You okay. should set it up like a like a punch card. Like every time you just <laughs> punch a hole in the card. Right no, no more punches. No more punches. Yeah. All right. So oh, speaking yeah. of Bowman, I've got this 2017. So this, there we go. You don't have a first Bowman. This would be your first Bowman at your rookie card. Is that correct? Yes. Exactly. Yep. So Dallas, another yeah. petition. I feel like on Talk Scrum. I think we need it in the 2022 set. An, like an honorary <laughs> Matt Strom first Bowman for what you're doing for the hobby yeah, and getting people into cards. I, I, you know, Tops has a couple years. To make things right, Dallas, shouldn't they do this? Yeah, is that what the deal is? What's that? Is it that? They have they have the cards for a couple more well, years. Well, we'll talk about that. I'm, okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Ask all right. Okay. All right. All right. We got Polanco, yeah. Bryce Harper. 2017 is a pretty cool set. It's what just, happened to Bryce Harper? Not a lot Harper? going on with the design. There's Buster, uh, Xander. Let's see what our Chrome is. Brady and Shipley rookie card. Not the picture we're looking for. Hmm. Paul the Young. We got a Sean Reed Foley. We got, come on, it is Matt Dice. All right. Oh, All right. Um, yeah. Okay, so you don't, I know you don't really publicly PC dudes, but do you PC Matt Strom? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Uh, I'm missing my, I need my Super Fractor Auto and my Orange Refractor Auto. Maybe we can make that happen. Have my I mean, probably not, but maybe. Yeah. If, if we if we hit it, it's it's, it's coming your way. Um, That'd be unreal. We'll just we'll the just other mail. day on the we were shooting the card life the other day, and I opened a box of seventeen chrome. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to spoil it, but it was the first time I ever hit my own auto. That's kind of sick. Oh, nice. That yeah, is so awesome. Kind of real sick. Um, we're all rooting for you. Yeah. I hope that I hope yeah. that you find those. Um, because yeah, because the super factor could just still be somewhere, right? I mean, that's well, the hard so, part. Well, so. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Houdini with yes. Cheap on Breaks. Oh, yeah. He actually Houdini helped guys. me. Yeah, he actually helped me hunt it down, and it was sold on eBay. And then the guy, the seller on eBay gave me the buyer's email. I emailed him, and he told me he sold his entire collection as a lot to some guy. Oh, so, okay. So, that's so this seems like ends. a whole episode of that. new. I can't get that card show locally. I watched, like, someone recorded it with their phone on YouTube. But that's really? like a whole episode of you trying to find that super. That'd guess, be amazing. Yeah. Um, I guess. So it's, like a, it's been opened. It's out there. I so just it, okay, hope it's not, not some kid's car seat oh, like in the back. Of his all right. If you have anywhere, seat. if you know the whereabouts now, please, yeah. in the comments, I'm let us be, know. Uh, I'm okay. starting a true crime pod podcast about this <laughs> about uh, finding the, this card. The theft of <laughs> Matt's Super Factor. I've got two 2017 Gypsy Queen packs. Are, do you like these kind of old style, like that, the Ginter? I think I actually have a, someone at Angel Stadium yesterday just gave me my black and white auto out of this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. I haven't. I like Allen and Ginter more than Gypsy. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Ginter yeah. seems more consistent in the design, where some of these some of these yep. years I think look awesome. Big yeah. Allen and Ginter fan. So we did hit a Musgrove, Dallas. Very nice. Not the picture nice. we're looking for. Um, I would I would be blowing it since I have someone who actually collects and also plays baseball. Do you have any initial feelings about the Fanatics news with the license? I mean, if you don't want to talk about um, it, I totally get it. No, yeah. Uh, obviously, like, Topps Chrome being my favorite thing to collect, it kind of yeah. scares me of what's going to happen. But I don't know. Is Fanatics just going to buy Topps now? Uh, that's definitely a possibility. Like, is that is – that, because without the licensing, what is Topps? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't even know – it's confusing to read in terms of the deals as far as like the players association where Panini had to deal with you guys to make those like non-licensed, you yeah. know, red hat, blue hat cards. I can't mm -hmm. tell if that's out of the play. It's not in play for tops going forward. If, if, if for whatever reason they're not acquired. Um, yeah. Anyway, just curious if, you know, how you felt. We were kind of down, but it's like, maybe it'll be cool. Who, I mean, you know, it's just, it's so far off. Who knows? Yeah, I guess, I guess I see that as the, probably the only 
like positive is hopefully tops and fanatics can work out a deal where tops is still the yeah distributor for them yeah yeah. fanatics yeah because fanatics doesn't make cards like we've never seen their cards well that would, i guess would be the thing is they're starting this whole card thing the guy from stock x is gonna run okay. it um the part that i was interested in is like they're saying now the players might get a cut of it and i'm just curious what that would do for player involvement like i like for instance i know you're into cards yeah. but are, there's probably a lot of guys who are like they don't care about this and it's annoying right uh, i mean maybe yeah i mean some of the guys are like, like and who I talk specifically to, like, <laughs> can we get names <laughs> specifically i talk i talk with marisnik all the time about cards like he's big into he's big into football cards and mm. uh just through him i've heard that like bregman and chris bryant also got big into cards and collecting cards so i don't think i don't think guys get annoyed with it um but also it comes down to business which yeah. isn't always the prettiest and that's kind of what it sounds like this fanatics thing is is they're willing to be more player friendly in the deal it sounds like but they're also a way bigger company than top so they have that they have that room and that cap space to do that so sure do you get any kind of a say in this at all as a player uh i mean you can you can say as much as you want <laughs> I would like just out of curiosity, like, did you know being a part of the Players Association? Did this come down maybe like a week or two before we all found out? Did you have an idea? No, like we find stuff out just like you guys do. Other than like we might get an email of like what's going down, yeah, and then we'll see it twelve hours later on Twitter or something. That's um, crazy. But uh, I mean, no, I guess maybe I don't pay attention enough either to the, uh, <laughs> don't read your players association emails, board, you get your bull- like, bulletin. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't read it enough, but <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just find my news out like everyone else, I guess. Sure. Well, we're hopeful. I mean, I, you know, I'm, ho- I think best case scenario tops gets acquired and maybe fanatics. I, mean, I was saying anyone who collects has problems with tops. I mean, I'm sure yeah, you've had issues. No what if they can fix it? What if it's great? I'm not ready right. to, you know, get so upset yet. Speaking of tops and Chrome, oh, yeah. I've got two of these. These are Uh-oh. from a blaster, so getting an auto would be hard. But it's we got to open yeah. these and see what we can find. Never know. Is though. there ever a moment? I've never had to go through this myself, except for little league. Um, so you know, same kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Let's talk about Dallas's little league career real quick. Yeah, yeah. We are the Blue Jays. There's no rhyme or reason to that. But uh, <laughs> like, wait, you ever see a card of yourself and then you think, uh, oh, they went with that picture? Like, you ever feel that way? Yeah. So it was my uh, twenty. Well, first of all, my 2018 Padre card, my first Padre card is my Royals card Photoshop Padres. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to put it no, up on the screen was, in editing so we can all see what that looks like. Yeah, I was kind of like, uh, OK, and then Bummer. I can't remember if it's my 2019 or 2020. I'm in my like leg kick and you can see my belt and my belt's on upside down. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something that no one in the world ever me. noticed except nah, for you. It's like, like, ah. Dang, they got, they got me with that. Well, yeah, the, so maybe the, the fanatics one. deal, maybe you have like, you get like a editorial decision. No, we're not going to go with that one. My belt's yeah, on backwards yeah, yeah. fanatics. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to be positive. Uh, we're getting every rookie card in 2017 except for Matt Strom. Let's see if we can fix that. Tanaka, we got like yeah. a cool, well, that's not you. That's Orlando Arcia. That's a cool card though. It's cool. Yeah. A refractor. And our last card of Chrome is Ian Desmond. So we did not hit any Strom cards out of tops, but I do have one last thing to open, Matt. And I want to ask you if you remember signing anything for this box right here. Oh, yeah. Panini. Okay. Was this yep. your actual first official product? That was my first card deal. Like, yeah, my yes. first sign for them. Okay. I don't know what, what set was the first one because I signed like, I think I signed like 1,500 autos for panini that's what i was i was gonna ask you like yeah. when you as if you were into cards growing up you're like i'm signing cards like the first 10 yeah, and you're like yeah. let's go and then like the 900th card you're like i've made mistakes why am i yeah, yeah. To this? <laughs> yeah the okay. tops one i think like nowadays we see all these kids autos and it's like i feel like their agents are like hey you got so many to sign you might want to like shorten that auto up and, like everyone's just initial change over time i i feel like i haven't but yeah i feel like I see some of these kids' autos now, and I'm like, dude, they they paid you for this? Like, yeah, you yeah, dropped yeah, the yeah. pen on the card. Well, <laughs> like, how, so when you if you got your cards for this, like, did they just show up to your house? I mean, it's just like, how, just as someone who doesn't understand how it works, like, no, yeah. So for for the Panini card deal, what they did is they shipped out 
all the on card autos, they shift them all out with like samples, where to sign yeah. and like instructions, whatever. And then they send you a booklet of uh, stickers to sign as well. Okay. But with the, with the tops deal, they uh, actually sent someone to my house and they sit there and they pass them across the table one by one and okay, I sign that's... them, pass them back, pass them back. Yeah. Um, and then oh. I didn't sign any stickers for, oh yeah, I did sign some stickers for tops, but then they'll leave you with the booklet for stickers and, so whenever they need one, you can just like in. send it, send it in. Cause I was curious about those like really high end cards. If it's like here, just yeah. play, carefully place it back in this, but they actually have a guy who's just there to make sure. Yeah. For, for most of them, they have a guy that comes in. I mean, I've seen like teammates where they get boxes sent to their locker and they're just signing them in the clubhouse and like gone over there. And I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> dude, don't stack these while you're signing. Like, That's what you need to put on stadium right. polls, by the way. You're like, hi, I'm Matt Strom. I'm in the locker room. We're going to go see how this guy's yeah. signing cards. But like, I see someone signing them and stacking them. I'm like, bro, that's how you get ink on the back of them, and then they're never going to jam. You got to like, let them know, man. They, gotta, they don't like, see what these guys don't know what jamming like, means, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, they don't care. Oh, Listen, what, why is it Craig Stammon that did that? <laughs> why, do have, <laughs> why do you have it out for Craig Stammon does? Listen, we have some things we got to talk about, man, Stammon, and I'll get to it. So we got five I packs. want that job. I need that job of that guy who just sits across from you at a table and is like, sign it, sign it. Sign it. And then yeah. there's always one that mysteriously goes missing when he goes back to work. Disappears. Well, yeah, exactly. I think we're supposed to get like eight to ten autos out of this. So let's. this was our best chance yeah. of getting a Strom auto. So we got to do all it. Right. We got Birdie. I think all of every single card in this set is numbered. There's Nikki Lopez. Mm. So this might be our first. Is that a Tramel? Nice. Okay. Hey. I mean, I only have eyes for Strom in this, but some of the guys in this no. set are pretty good. So that's old a Tramel friend. card. Old, old friend alert. Taylor to match. We got an Aaron Judge patch uh, wow. to $2.99. See, some of these Panini cards are fun, but just the licensing makes I me know. Want I know. Yeah. Well, these guys, what you guys would have been in your college uniforms is this would have been minor league stuff minor league i know stuff. this is like i know this picture exactly from this field is like from field three on the backfields in surprise arizona that's amazing i was gonna ask you since you hit 286 in 2019 like what was little league like for a match from were you just destroying it from both sides of the field nah i was actually uh one of our it wasn't like our worst pitcher but it definitely wasn't our best really um okay. yeah so we had guys that would actually throw hard. I, I didn't throw hard. I'd just throw to spots. But I, I played first base and hit, and I, I hit pretty 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 well. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a Rymel Tapia kind of die cut card, kind of cool. We got a Dakota Hudson auto. Uh, don't sleep on this 2016 Panini Extra Elite. Lots of hits. Jeremy and Martinez. Back-to-back -back autos in the pack. Out of 25. I think this was 200 bucks on Blowout. I was like, I'll get because there's like Eloy is in this. There's a ton of guys. But like I said, Dallas, yeah. you gotta hit the strom. Gotta hit one. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Um, so I watched the video. I think it was last week was the cheap on breaks. Like when you go back to work, what's the next thing you're gonna open? I was curious. Um, so I just opened uh, in Angel Stadium. I opened two boxes of Tops on Demand 3D and one box of Dual Dyn or dynamic dual laws or those something those are like cool that. i've seen those yeah, yeah okay yeah. how did that I, I mean you don't have to spoil it no did yeah that good? one went i mean went pretty well yeah i guess i could i could show the card i hit on there yeah go get it well i'll show this luzardo uh patch we got Ooh, dual patch. you like luzardo uh, dallas don't you i love, i want him to be good please be good he's just luzardo i'm he's rooting listening. for you there's dietrich and some of some of these guys i haven't heard of but a lot of these guys i have Dylan Carlson, that's nice. That's a nice nine, one. Yeah, out of nine nine nine. Alrighty, so the uh, the dual auto is actually a pretty dope one. Let me see. So that's oh, is that Vlad and Bo? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dude, come on, that is so that's sick. Really sick. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. All right. And then the best three D one I got was Cronenworth. So we open those, and yeah, those yeah, the yeah. inserts are the coolest one because the three D motion that's is actually right. kind of decent. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good one. The base cards, they just kind of like the finger moves like a hair, you know. Like <laughs> yeah, they're best. it's like the background a little bit. Yeah, yeah it yeah, looks yeah. like they just got cold and they like shivered. And that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so those, those are cool. Those that's are awesome. two big hits from Angel Stadium. And then I think I'm going to open, I was going to open a box of Topps Chrome in Anna or in Arizona, but 
when we landed last night, I just ripped through it in the yeah. hotel room. So don't have <laughs> you that. Do you can film yeah, it. Yeah. People would watch that too. Did you hit anything good out of that? Um, I hit a Varsho green rookie to okay. 99, just as bait, not an auto, just That's the good. green, but it's cool. Yeah. And then a redemption of some dude I don't know. But, There's a lot hmm. of guys in the auto set. I watched Houdini open a case the other night. He did like the, the charity and I bought Charity it and one, I, bought, yeah. I got the Bart spot and um the, it's it's like 140 auto it's it's like yeah. it's brutal still fun but oh yeah i took the andy young spot in that nice. andy young's my high school teammate oh that's for the cool Diamondbacks. yeah that's awesome i gotta show the noisy let's see dylan carlson auto yeah okay not bad again not you're bad. not matt strong but we know who you are that's that's cool yeah. that's a plus. Uh, jake rogers <laughs> auto Dude, so many this yeah. must be like the most hey, he autos. collects supposedly doesn't he jake rogers pretty sure catcher gotta, for detroit right we got to reach out to him yeah he was on i guess he was on houston at the time but you know things have happened since 2016 there he is no just a few things i love that what you said to you said Matt. <laughs> just, uh, a few things. just a few things have happened since 2016 really <laughs> yeah. nothing important really <laughs> I love that you're like, when you go back to work, what are you going to open? Uh, well, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's his know. job to you, Sean, is, you know, when you go back to but work, that's part opening of, cards. Well, let me, our last yeah. pack. So I was going to ask you, like, what what was the, why did you go, hey, you know what? Because for me, I love it. Like, I was going to say, you could collect and no one would know. Like, you're yeah. mentioning some of these guys who no one knows. Like, you could not share with anyone. I think it's so cool right. you do. Like, what made you want to do it? Yeah, so 2020, obviously, like, I love I love the interactions with fans at games, like, go out, play catch, get done, stop by the dugout there, sign a few autographs. Is that on card or is that, that was Yeah, card? that was Bukowskis. That's a sticker. Oh, it looked like on card. Yeah, it's, you can That's see That's a good so. sticker then. Yeah. But uh, anyways, so 2020, obviously no fans were allowed. And um, I was I was just – I kind of got the idea from Phil because I was like yeah. watching all of his videos and everything. Then I literally asked him, I was like, yo, what do you think if I just started opening boxes in stadiums? Do you think people like that? He's like, dude, they would eat that up. So I reached out to Houdini and Blowout and was like, yo, what if I start doing this? And they they sent me a few boxes to start ripping. And I mean, just uh, it's taken off from there and it's kind of become a, uh, a big hobby for me now. Like <laughs> my brother and I are ripping product left and right all the time. So. It's That's just, awesome. It's so cool. Like I was saying, you, you wouldn't have to tell anyone. No one would fault you for it. But the fact yeah, that you yeah, like yeah. us as baseball fans and also card fans, like you sharing on stuff, yeah. so awesome. So look, we didn't actually hit your card tonight, but I did find – I think this is your first actual card, so I was going to ask you because I got it on eBay. Do you remember this card right here? Yep. So yeah, this was Northwest Naturals. Arkansas Naturals. Would this been have been sold, like sold at a game maybe? Yeah, that would be like in the team store for like the team pack. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. So yeah. we didn't we didn't hit a match drum card, but we I did My find this one. My first baseball card would actually be the 2000. What would it be? 2012 JUCO World Series team set. All right, I blew it. Dallas, let's uh, just we'll get Matt back on the show. What we'll start over. Hell? I thought I that'd be the, that'd be the I, first one. I'm embarrassed. That's, that's I'm embarrassed. crazy. So do you have that one? Uh, yeah, I actually have that whole team set signed by the whole team. Dude. So we got oh, that okay. one. Okay, so I think the, we all got that. What if he just, I want, I want you to turn your camera, Matt, and it's just a big blown up version of that card. And you're like, yeah, I have it. I <laughs> yeah, carry I it around. <laughs> it's a poster. Travel with it. Yeah. <laughs> I have our traveling secretary set it up in our hotel room everywhere we go. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so, so the best match drum card you have would be your red auto from 2017 Chrome. We just got to yeah, get you the super. Number to five. My favorite one, though, is the X-Fractor. The X-Fractor auto, number 20. That's my yeah. favorite looking car. X-Fractors are my favorite top chrome uh, refractor, parallel, whatever you want to call it. That's sick. All right, so the hunt goes on. If you have, hey, if I, you I, know I, I the have. whereabouts of Matt's Superfractor, let's make that happen. Let's put it in the yeah. universe. I do have a quite one question, though, about about mm -hmm. your, your show, Matt. What, you, obviously, don't say Petco, but what's, like, yeah. your favorite stadium to just sit in, because obviously baseball stadiums are some of the most beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. places. So what's your favorite one to just sit and open cards in? Sit and open cards. Um, uh, I don't know, because I, I mean, there's some there's some fields I haven't been able to, because I just started doing it in 2020. So yeah. I've been very limited to the West. We haven't traveled Central or East or anything to do that. Um. 
I don't know, like views, view wise, like Anaheim was dope because you get up there and you get to see like the waterfall, like mm. the city and everything. So that was cool. But I love, I love Globe Life. Globe Life's sweet, but it's a indoor stadium. So there's not like views to look at, but like just the stadium as a whole is kind of cool. That's the new yeah. one, right? Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's I also cool. hit a, I hit a gold Beau Bichette there. So that was kind of dope. That's sick. So the memory memories. of that will good also. memories, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was out of the top's finest flashback, too, so it was a six set. That's awesome. Okay, and what's your least favorite stadium, and why is it Chavez Ravine? <laughs> I mean, it's Ricky Henry Field or whatever, Henderson Field, like the Coliseum. Oh, Oakland. It's yeah. Just That's a bummer. Uh, it's a it's bummer. great to pitch in, though, because the foul territory. Like, you can get a foul ball that is – 18 rows deep in Petco that Hosmer's catching. So yeah. that's perfect. But yeah, it's not very scenic to rip cards in or exciting. No, yeah. not scenic, not like, not comfortable. Like, it's, yeah. you feel dirty. Yeah. No. That's probably, say, it's yeah. not going to be around for that much longer. I'm, I'm in the yeah. Bay Area. So that's, they're working on it, I think, hopefully. Yeah. I, the, the stadium announcer there used to be amazing, though, back in like the early 2000s. He just, he, he talked like this. It was great. <laughs> it was like my favorite thing to listen to ever. Now yeah. that a Jason Giambi. He's probably still there. He's, He's when probably still there. When you're that good. Um, I, I was going to ask you, is like anything else rest of the year you're excited to come out and rip on the show? Like if, as card collectors, what should we be looking for? What's a match drawn favorite that hasn't come out yet in 2021? I mean, it's already out, but I haven't started ripping it. And that's Topps Chrome. Yeah. Uh, last night, I got my first box in my hands and I ripped it open. So that was my first box last night here in the hotel room. But uh, I got a lot of it ordered. I ordered an entire case Sick. of Hobby. I ordered an entire case of Blasters. Um, I ordered a case of the Hobby Light. So Topps, I'm going to rip a lot of Topps Chrome. That's awesome. So. Well, we'll look forward to watching like that, that on, on the show. Yes. Um, Dallas, I was going to say, if we tried to do uh, Stadium Pulse, we'd get arrested. You know, we, we, yeah. that's, yeah, but let us know when you want us to come on. We'll you come maybe hang just out. have to try to do it during the game. You might have to we'd buy get, tickets. We'd security would be like, come on, guys, you got to go. Or if yeah. you hit some great cards, someone would be like, hey, cool, I'll take, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. just steal them from you. Yeah. It'll just be me pulling cards going, can you guys please hold it down? Please. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to get, instead of the wave, everyone to be quiet. Yeah. We're filming our card show. Matt, I really want you to start taking the cards you don't like and throwing them into the outfield when you pull them. Throwing them out? Yeah, just throwing them right into the outfield. I uh, thought of doing that with like some some of the uh, blacklisted players, you know? Like uh, the cheaters. I was gonna say you're speaking oh. about a certain team Maybe. that we that we all know uh, about. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna back myself into a corner with anybody. But Craig, Sta- Sta- Craig right. Stammen. Craig Stammen. Craig Stammen. Stammen. <laughs> Craig Stammen. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get letters Greg from the Stam- Craig Stammen fan it. club, Dallas. <laughs> just kidding. I, I, I like Craig Stammen a lot. I'm just, yeah, yeah. It's Craig, just, Craig, just Craig's the uh, Craig's the dad of the bullpen. He's, uh, That's awesome. He listen. looks like it. Anytime he walks out to the mound, I'm like, I feel like he just got he just yelled at some kid that was eating ice cream. Like he looks like he's just. I mad. mean, he's just uh, he's got that presence about him. When Craig talks, you listen, or when he yeah. talks, you listen. Yeah, so. that's amazing. Uh, that's really yeah. funny. Sorry, well, I mean Matt, to... I appreciate you taking the time to come on the show, man, and I'm looking forward to more yeah. stadium polls. Uh, make sure, like I said, okay, now would be a good time if you haven't yet subscribed to, to Strom Stadium Pulse. Yes. I'm leaving a link in the in the description. Go do that. Make sure you're subscribed to Talks Chrome as well, please. Mm. Yes. Uh, you can follow Dallas on Twitter. You can follow Matt at Twitter, at Matt Strom, at Dallas underscore MC. And that's our show. Uh, thank you again, Matt, yes, for sir. taking the time. Yeah, appreciate man, thanks it. so much. Dallas, course, thank you course, for taking course. the time. You're welcome. I have some carnage out of it's actually <laughs> marinating. Going so. cold. Wait. All right. Uh, for Matt and Dallas, I'm Sean. Thanks for watching Talks Chrome. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Good night. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>